Hi, welcome to Pharmacology of the Synapse. I'm Dr. Anna Lee, the course director for this course. And in today's video, we're going to go over some basics of pharmacology. Now, most drugs, um, especially the neuronally active drugs that we discuss in this class, act on receptors in the brain. So we're going to go over some uh, receptor pharmacology later on in this video. The first concept that I want to cover is dose response curves. So if I draw a dose response curve like this, where this is the percent of maximal effect. And in pharmacology, this can actually pertain to a lot of different things. So this could be something molecular, uh, such as uh, receptor occupancy. Or it can be something more uh, physiological. For example, something like vasodilation. Or something at the organism level, such as analgesia. So percent max effect can pertain to a lot of different things. On the x-axis here, you have the concentration of your drug. And most biological effects will produce hyperbolic curves, such like this. So if I call this the effect of drug A, and then up here this is 100% max effect, there's a couple of things to note. One, um, it will approach an asymptote. So technically, it approaches 100%, but never actually gets there. If now you have a different drug, such as drug B, that does the same thing, it will also reach near 100% max effect as you increase the drug concentration. So there's a couple of concepts, um, pharmacology concepts, based on the dose response curve here. And the first thing that I'm going to introduce is the EC50. So this is the effective concentration of drug where it produces 50% max effect. So let's just estimate 50% here. So the EC50 for drug A would be this concentration. And then the EC50 for drug B would be this concentration. Now, the problem with EC50s on hyperbolic curves is that most drugs produce a hyperbolic curve. And so you can have a lot of comparisons between drugs where you have something like that. So we call this drug C. It's actually fairly difficult to estimate where 50% is. And you can see here that we're working with a very small range of the whole x-axis. So in pharmacology, more often than not, you will see the dose response curve turned into uh, a semi-log curve. So if I redraw this over here, where this is still the same percent max effect, but now this becomes log of your drug concentration, the hyperbolic curves will turn into sigmoidal curves. Again, we approach 100% max effect, still approach an asymptote, and this is drug A. Drug B. and drug C. So now you can see it's much easier to estimate where your 50% is for each one of these drugs. And you have a larger um, range on the x-axis to use. Linked to the EC50 is the concept of potency. 
Potency is a measure of the uh, effective concentration at 50%. So drug C here, which has the lowest EC50 concentration, is most potent versus drug B, which has the highest EC50 concentration, is the least potent relative to the three drugs here. So potency is a relative measure based off of the EC50. This means that a more potent drug, you use less of the drug concentration to produce your 50% maximum effect. So why is potency measured from uh, EC50 and not EC100? Well, there's a couple of uh, major, let me just erase this to get more room. So, so why is potency not taken from an EC100? Well, you can tell here that when, it, when the drugs reach asymptote uh, maximum of 100% uh, activity, it's really difficult to identify where 100% is. Is it here? Is it here? Along the line, you can get very different drug concentrations based on where you, where you dictate where 100% falls. So that's why it's hard to identify where the EC100 is. Second of all, in medicine uh, and in therapeutic benefits, you often don't need an EC100 to produce a therapeutically benefit, beneficial effect. So for example, if we we're talking vasodilation, we don't really need a drug to cause 100% efficacy to dilate all your blood vessels if you're trying to treat high blood pressure. Same thing for analgesia. We often don't need a drug to completely block all sensation for a patient to get benefit uh, from analgesia. So therapeutically, uh, drugs often work within the EC50 range um, that produce therapeutic benefit. 